Hello from the Big South Network studio in Charlotte. I'm Mark Bryant, and this is our Football Preview 2018. I'm very happy to be joined by Kevin Callahan of Monmouth University now. Coach, glad to have you with us. Great to be here. Let's jump right into it as we look toward 2018 and what you're going to have on the offensive side of the ball. It was a good year last year. Is it, are we looking at even bigger and better things this year, or what it's going to look like? Well, our, our hope is that we can continue where we left off in 2017. Uh, we returned 10 of our 11 players on the offensive side, 90% uh, of our production offensively in terms of yardage gained, points scored, uh, all of those players returned. Uh, so I think it's a, it has a chance to be a, a pretty formidable unit, a very explosive unit. You know, I'll start with a quarterback position. Uh, Kenji Barhar will be in his second full year as a starter, and he is just continuing to grow and develop and, and increase his understanding, not only of what we want him to do in terms of our offensive scheme, but also in terms of the defenses that he's facing. Reggie White Jr. Uh, is a fifth year senior for us, has been our number one receiver for the last three seasons, and we're expecting big things from him. And then at the running back position, you know, last year the, the big news was the emergence of Pete Guerrero, you know, and Eric Zaccori, two freshmen who had outstanding uh, years. Uh, they're both back, they're both healthy, and we're really looking for big things from them. We lost our left tackle, Matt Stoneberg, with five games to go last year. So the guy who stepped in for him, Mahmoud Shabana, his, his really has game experience. He's played in the Big South games, uh, he's played in the playoffs, so he's an experienced player. He will be replacing the one starter that we're losing. So it, it really, you know, we're looking good on that side of the ball right now. Okay, so let's take it to the other side of the ball, right? We, we know we're going to have some explosive players and some, uh, some quality output on the offense. Talk about the defense, how they're going to keep you in games, keep the other team from keep trying to keep up with you. Well, you know, I, I think we have to start with the fact that Mike Basile is not with us any longer. We're not going to replace a Mike Basile. But I do think in the back end we have a number of players who saw an awful lot of time last year. There were four freshmen who played a significant amount of football, not in a starting role necessarily, but contributed in the secondary for us uh, with Justin Terry, Anthony Budd, Hassan Chambers, and all of those guys return and as sophomores should be more seasoned, should be a little bit more comfortable with their roles, and we're looking for big things from them. If you look at your schedule, and you look at who you're facing, is there a particular rival that means something to your team or a particular week that you have something you need to establish? What's, what's the big game? Well, I, I think, you know, is, is the way we look at the season and as we approach this season in particular, you know, we've got a lot of a variety in our schedule, a lot of different challenges that we're going to have to face, and it's going to have to be something that we do on a weekly basis. You know, we're looking to improve on what we did last year. We thought we had a great season, but kind of ran into a wall at the end of it because we had Kennesaw and Northern Iowa in the NCAA playoffs in consecutive weeks. And, you know, while we were extremely happy to be in the playoffs and felt very deserving to be in the playoffs, we didn't come away feeling that we played the way or represented ourselves or the conference in a way that we felt we should have or could have. So that's going to be a point of emphasis with us this year. Perfect. Coach? We certainly wish you best of luck this season and maybe deeper in the playoffs this season. Who knows what is in store for the Hawks, but we hope good things. And that's it for right now on our Football Preview 2018.